Hello everyone, this is YouTube Buddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about a very useful and very interesting concept of TypeScript function, which is known as fat arrow function or simply arrow function. We are going to use this arrow function several times in our real time application for cleaner and standard code. So understand the concept very carefully. Arrow function is something by which you can write your function in the simplest way without writing much code. You can say this is the process of simplifying a function. We will understand that with an example. In TypeScript and JavaScript, we can assign a function as a value of a variable. As for example, if I write let get return value is equal to function and after that a parenthesis and a curly braces this get return value variable becomes a function which doesn't have any functionality as of now if we want to know what is the type of this get return value variable for that we will print the type of this variable in our console we have written console.log and inside that type of get return value we will save our code and execute you can see after execution we got the type of get return value in our integrated terminal that is function so this get return value is working as a function here our newly created function does not have any functionality till now we will add some functionality the function returns the number value 100 if you are doing console.log and then get return value function it should print the value 100 in the integrated terminal see after execution we got 100 printed here now we will understand how to convert this function into a fat arrow function or simply known as arrow function we can remove this keyword function after that we need to put one equal sign followed by a greater than sign this is known as fat arrow or arrow so the basic concept is after the arrow sign there will be one curly braces and inside that curly braces you need to put the implementation of the function but here are some more advantages if you are having only one line of implementation you need not to put this curly braces and you need not to write this return keyword as well this syntax clearly means that get return value is a function which returns the value of 100 and now if we save and execute the code we will see 100 is printed once again so the arrow function is working perfectly fine now what if we have some particular parameter or arguments inside the function in that case we can pass those arguments inside this parenthesis suppose we have one argument x of number type and it is returning the multiplication of 100 and x in that case we need to pass that argument when you are calling the function for example if i write 5 it should give us the output of 100 into 5 that is 500 see we got 500 printed in the integrated terminal so you can understand how we are actually simplifying a function with the help of arrow syntax we will use this arrow function several times in our later videos for understanding different functionality then you will feel how much useful this arrow function is i think the concept of arrow function is pretty clear to you now thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one until then bye bye take care